Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a boot the latest version of Linux Mint 22 and Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now this way you can choose to boot into Windows or Linux Mint. Now make sure you have a flash drive of at least 4GB. Now let's head to our browser and then search for Linux Mint and then click on the link to linuxmint.com. Now click on the download button and here we go. This is Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition, XFace, Mate, and you could use any of them you want, but in this case, I'm going with the XFace desktop environment. So just click on download and scroll down. Here you can see the list of Miro servers, so you can select any of them and it should start downloading. Next, we're also going to download the software which we're going to use to create a bootable drive and that software is win32 disk imager so download win32 disk imager from sourceforge right here i also provide this link in the video description click on download after downloading win32 disk imager and linux mint you can close our browser and then head to our download folder so here we go this is linux mint and this is win32 disk imager now let's install Win32 Disk Imager by double clicking on it. Agree to the terms. Next, next, and install. Now let's launch. So this is Win32 Disk Imager. Now the first thing we have to do is select our image file by clicking on this folder icon. Locate your download folder and then select Disk Images under here and then set it to this dot so it can show all the files there. Now we're going to select our Linux Mint ISO file here and then open. Now connect your flash drive and then click on device. Make sure your flash drive is selected here. Now we can click on write and it should write data to this flash drive. Now this should take around 5 minutes. Now while this is running, we also have to confirm where we want to install Linux Mint. So head to your Windows search bar and then search for partition. Click on create and format hard disk partitions. Here you're going to see the list of all your drives. Disk 0 right here is my SSD with around 220 gigabytes. Disk 1 is my backup drive, hard drive with 500 gig. Disk 2 right here is my M.2 128 gig. And disk 3 right here is our flash drive. Now we have to confirm where we plan to install Linux Mint. Now on my C drive, this partition has Windows and I can just partition this drive by shrinking it and then install Linux Mint alongside Windows. But I don't really have enough storage on this drive. If you check this PC, you can see I only have around 29.8 gig free, which shouldn't be enough. And you can see I can only partition 7 gig, which is not enough for Linux Mint. So let's cancel. In this case, I'm going to be installing Linux Mint on my SSD right here. So make sure you confirm where you want to install Linux Mint. If you have enough storage on your C drive, your Windows drive, and you want to install alongside Windows, you can just right click and then click on shrink volume and then set the size you would want to shrink. Let's say um, 100 gigabytes and then shrink. Now you can see unallocated 100 gigabytes here. When we are running the installation, we can select this unallocated 100 gigabytes and run the installation. But in this case, I'm going to use the entire of this SSD to install Linux Mint. So I'm just going to extend it back. Now we can close disk management and you can see Win32 disk imager has finished writing to our flash drive. So let's click on OK and then exit. Now we can restart and then boot into the installation. Hold F8 to show boot options. It may be different depending on the PC you're using. Here we can select our flash drive UFI sand disk and then hit enter. Now we are going to start Linux Mint 22 X phase. So let's hit enter. Now click on install Linux Mint on the desktop. Select the language for the installation and then continue. Set your keyboard layout, continue. Now select install multimedia codex and then continue. 
now we're going to select something else so we can partition it manually by ourselves but you have the option to install linux mint alongside windows or you could erase the drive and install linux mint we're going to partition it ourselves so select something else and then continue so if you screw down you should find our drive you can see right there dev sda and that is around 200 gigabytes now let's erase all the partitions inside so select the first partition right there you can see sda1 and then click on minus and it is going to erase that partition let's scroll down and select the second partition right there sda2 minus and it should erase both partitions and then we can now manually partition it ourselves so you can see the free space now select the free space and click on plus now we are going to create four different partitions the first partition is our home partition and this is going to contain all of our apps and drivers so we are going to allocate around 40 gigabytes and that should be more than enough to handle our apps and then set the mount point to slash which stands for roots you can adjust according to your needs the second partition is our swap partition which we are going to allocate half of our ram so if your ram is 16 gig on your pc then you should allocate 8 gig so i'm going to give it around 8 gigabyte now set users to swap and then ok the next is our efi partition now the efi partition is our boot partition and we are going to allocate around 200 to 300 megabytes set users to efi system partition and lastly it is the home partition which we are going to allocate the remaining storage set the mount point to home and then ok so you can see down here dev sda1 is our root partition with around 40 gigabytes dev sda2 is our swap partition with 8 gig dev sda3 is our efi partition 200 mb and dev sda4 is our main home drive with the remaining storage now we can select a device for our bootloader and then select dev sda3 since that is our efi partition now let's click on install now continue to write changes to the disk now set your time zone and then enter your information here which you're going to use to log into your machine and then continue the installation is complete now click on restart now so you can see we are now getting the option to boot between windows and linux mint so let's boot linux mint So basically, this is how to install and do a boot the latest version of Linux Mint on your Windows PC. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.